Hey everybody, I want to share the uh, latest mini album that I just made. I finished it last night. I think it took me all week, all this week to make it. I have it laying down flat just because I don't know how to video this because I have my camera from above so I can hold it. So I don't, I can hold the mini album. But anyways, this is the handle and I made it like a purse style, but it really sits up like this. I'll take the camera down and show you some still pictures of it at the end. So anyways, that is the bottom and I did little wood feet and it's all scrapbook paper. Um, that's the side, uh, the back, the other side and that's the top with the handle of my charm. Um, that's raised up. So anyways, it sits up like this. This is horrible. I'll put still pictures at the um, end of the video showing it how it really sits up and everything. So anyways, that is how it looks when it's all flat. Um, and I will show you the paper collection and explain everything as I open it up and show you. These wood pieces right here, are those are from Saw Crafters. I just placed an order. Those are her wood embellishments and I um, spray painted them gold and added them to the top. Anyways, I love how this turned out. I kept the charm very simple because the album said it all, but um, anyways, <clears throat> let me open it up. So it opens like this. see and it I lay it out like this. this is gonna be really hard to show and then it opens like this and when it opens up it stands up so it looks like you're flipping through your purse I should say so anyways I'll just give you a pan shot so that's the front flap this would be where the handle is and that opens up and then the back and then here's my pages and the front flap. Okay, so let me just get started and I'll just move this way because this is really hard to shoot in, in frame. Um, let me show you real quickly the paper collection that I used just so you're wondering. If you're wondering really quick, we all just had these. Um, it's the $5 hot buy from Michaels and it's all in the gold, the gold foil, and it's from Craftsmith. So I use that and I have a ton. Oh God, there was all my scraps. I have a ton left, but I also used just for filler because I didn't want, um, oh, where is it? I didn't want, it's my mind's eye. It's a small stack at Michael's now too. I should have been more prepared. Oh, here it is. And it's, this is at Michael's now too, and it's this My Mind's Eye, and it has the pinks and the golds. It's really cute and really pretty. And I use most of it. So, without further ado, let's get on to the, the album. Okay, so we're starting here. This is the front flap that opens up, and I did, um, I did a waterfall here. I cut that out of the paper. This is just, oh, and I also, like this gold, this is just the 12 by 12 scrapbook paper that you find in the loose paper at Michael's. And they have it in silver and gold. And I always keep that on hand, usually in the silver. But, okay, so that opens up. It's magnetized. It's got a magnet. And then this is a waterfall. I left these blank, so you can either A, stick a journaling spot or print out and journal or put a picture because it still looks good framed in black. Love that. That's from the My Mind's Eye. And then there's that. So there's pictures there. Um, and then I kept all my pockets like the same on the fronts and the backs. So they each have this front pocket that I put with the gold. Let me scoot in. Um, and okay so this I created this little mini wallet to go inside and it slips in this pocket and this is adorable. Let me show you this. Um, it's real thin and it has a magnet 
and you open it up. Oh, that's the back, the sides, and you open it up. I use my Tim Holtz on the edge die to do that. <clears throat> okay, so then it, you open it this like this. This opens, this opens, you put photos, and then this opens up for photos. Just a little simple to add more photos, like a little wallet. Every person needs a wallet, right? Okay, so that goes in that pocket, and I, you take that out. Um, this is my first page. You could put pocket, more pictures, whatever. Every pocket has a photo mat. I used These are brads that I got at Hobby Lobby from... Um, they were just 50% off, I think, this week. So I made the paper white so you can either put a photo or do any journaling that you want on all these cards. Um, I cut out the notch so that you could see it with my circle punch. Just did it halfway. So that's the page one. Then when you go this way, um, you can tuck... I left, I put, this is from the paper collection, so I just glued like half of it down, and I figured you could either A, put a photo, or tuck photos and cards will slide right in and stay. So when you're turning this, this, you know, looking through it, that is facing you that way. So, okay. So then here's my next page, and I just put, these are from the paper pad collection, and I left the backs black so you can mount photos or print out you know journaling and glue it on if you want so there's those and then that's a pocket as well and then this pulls out and I'll put this all back together so that's that and then this side is the same thing you can tuck your photos and they'll stay or cards or notes or whatever you want and you can still put a photo here okay so then there's this page and this is the my mind's eye paper so these are a little more tags and these are put in white in case you want to write on them that's a journaling spot you can put a photo and then that's that page and this pulls out and then that flips to that side and it says my favorite things and you can Again, tuck your stuff in there, give you a better look, there we go, and then there's this page, and I put a bigger photo spot, best day ever, that pocket, and then this pulls out, and there's that, and then there's this page, this page I just left blank. Do what you want. And then this page, I made just photo spots. Love that paper. And of course the pocket. And then the tag. And then this last page, I did another little booklet, which this one's like kind of like a portfolio. And you just pull it open like that. You can put your photos. In the back, I did whoop, journaling spots. And then that just folds up like that. There's a little ribbon on there. And that tucks right back into the pocket. So there's more room for photos. A bigger photo mat. And then again, the inside pocket photo mat. And then that's it for pages. Of course, that page out the back. So now I will show you. Let me get this out of the way so I can put this back off camera. Now let me show you. Then you, this way. So there's all my pages that way. This I um, this is like a pocket. I figured it was like a purse. So like you know how you put your credit card stuff in. Whatever. This I got from One Happy Scrapper, I believe she is, Chandra, on YouTube. I had watched one of her folio videos, and she did this, which I believe she got this from Kathy Orta. I'm not sure, but that's what I, I'm pretty sure she did. And she has a great tutorial on doing this. Um, I'll link her channel down below or 
I don't know if Kathy Orta has a tutorial on it or not, but I just know where I got it and where I watched it from. So anyways, I created mine, and what this is, is, oh, my magnets are clinging to my bracelet. So anyways, this is um, glued down, and if you're interested, I can show you a tutorial as well. In fact, I, I, I will show you a tutorial on pieces parts. Um, everything else... I just, you know, I've learned techniques like making the waterfall, making pocket pages, and I just put them together the way I want to. I don't even know when I'm creating a mini album how I'm going to do it. I just put the base together and then I add, 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 and say, oh, this works right here and there. And Once you know the techniques, you can make anything you want. Okay, so these pull out. I attach them with ribbon and they each get bigger. So... They're little pockets attached, and that's just the paper collection. So that is a photo mat, and that'll tuck. I'll leave them out for. And then that gets smaller. And then that one's even smaller. And then that one's even smaller. You could put, like, a picture there or just journal. So anyways, I thought that was really cool. I love this. It's a little tricky to do, but it can be done. It's just you need patience. Okay, so then moving over here, I did another waterfall. These are really little. Um, I cut out a piece of bling and magnetized it. This is just cardstock, guys. So that flips open. These photos are two and a half by three. So, so then it, they just flip. And I left the backs without cardstock. I mean, without paper. And they just flip. Such a pretty collection. I love the golds and a touch of the pink. So that's that. And then this I had to leave blank because that's what um, flips over and closes up my book. Like that. See? Ta-da! And it's very magnetized. Okay, so this is just, I had to get really creative with this top because I didn't know what I was going to use for hardware and I wasn't going to go buy anything crazy. And I just cut and layered um, chipboard and it had to be risen because I used these eye hooky things that you screw into stuff. Barb actually gave me the idea, Callie Scrapper, on YouTube. And um, so I didn't want to drill it in here. So I had to raise it up and I took foam, or not foam cord, the, um, what's that uh, black spongy crap that, uh, fun foam. And I just cut square strips and then screwed into that and then glued it up so it was, it's raised up. But it looks, it looks really cool because it looks like it's, you know, really part of the metal on the purse. And then of course that's just some trim. Like I said, these are from Sawcraft with her wood chips. And then this is just a vintage piece of uh, costume jewelry that was a pin or a necklace that I had purchased like at Goodwill or something and I glued that on there. Okay so let me explain this front how I got this and I don't know if you guys remember the other day when I um, I'll look at that when I did um, my saw crafters haul video and I took and I told you I was working on something. Well, this is what it was. That I had the perfect idea for making this because I really needed this piece to be extremely sturdy. And I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to bend by constant lifting up. So anyways, this mini album that I purchased from Saw Crafters, it's really good wood. Um, each page came different. I showed you in my other video. Each of the, her pages is different. Like that one's scalloped. This one has that edging. That one. So this was the page. You can see that was the the page. And I cut the... the it, it just fit perfect. So I cut that off. And I used it for my purse. And that is not going anywhere. It is going to hold its shape forever. 
So yeah, that's what I made from using that mini album. And this is really good chipboard. I will save this and put it in something else. And then we'll see what I do with the rest of this album. I don't know yet. I'm not ready to work on that. I've already started another one. Um, so, okay. I hope you like this. I will put some still photos um, at the end of this video so you can get close-up shots. I am going to sell this and um, I am going to ask $45 for it. I'm going to be putting it on eBay or I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna open up my Etsy store again or if I just strictly want to try eBay or I don't know. But anyways if you're interested in this send me a, a private message or email or whatever and I'm asking $45 plus shipping because I want 45 for the album but and then whatever shipping is so all right but it's I had so much fun making it I think it's a beautiful piece to sit in a bedroom on a dresser it's real chic I love it all right guys let me know what you think I appreciate all the comments